Have you ever pondered the extent of our relationship with the environment? In today's world, it's all too easy to view ourselves as separate from the environment, something distinct and distant that we merely inhabit. This perception, unfortunately, often dilutes our sense of responsibility towards our natural surroundings. We forget that we are not just passive observers, but active participants, shaping and being shaped by the environment. Consider the concept of human-environment symbiosis. The idea that humans and their environments are not separate entities, but interdependent components of the same system. Historically, humans have shaped their environments in ways that reflect this symbiosis. Indigenous peoples, for instance, have long influenced their surroundings through practices like controlled burning, which have been instrumental in maintaining the health and biodiversity of their lands. When we examine history, we see a different narrative, one where humans and the environment coexist and shape each other. Let's step back in time to explore how indigenous peoples have historically shaped their environments. In a world where nature and human influence often seem at odds, indigenous cultures offer a fascinating counterpoint. They've long practiced a symbiotic relationship with the environment, one that respects and nurtures the land, water, and air that sustains us all. Take, for instance, the ancient practice of controlled burning. For thousands of years, indigenous tribes across the globe have used fire as a tool, a way of shaping their environment. It may seem counterintuitive, but these carefully managed fires can actually prevent larger, uncontrollable wildfires. By reducing the density of underbrush and deadwood, they create a healthier, more resilient forest ecosystem. But the benefits of controlled burning go beyond fire prevention. These fires also play a crucial role in maintaining biodiversity. Many plant species have evolved to thrive in the wake of fire, their seeds sprouting anew from the enriched soil. Some animals too benefit from the new growth that follows a burn, finding fresh sources of food and shelter in the rejuvenated landscape. In this way, indigenous peoples have long understood something that modern societies are only now beginning to grasp, that humans can not only live in harmony with nature, but actively contribute to its health and vitality. This isn't just about preserving the past, it's about shaping the future. Today, indigenous tribes are collaborating with organizations like the Forest Service to reintroduce controlled burning practices. This collaboration is about more than land management. It's about restoring a lost connection, a sense of belonging to the land that nurtures us. It's about recognizing that the environment isn't something separate from us, but a part of us. It's about understanding that our actions have consequences and that we have a responsibility to make those consequences positive. So let's take a leaf out of the indigenous people's book and strive to shape our environment in a way that benefits us all. Because when we care for the earth, it cares for us in return. These practices show us the potential for a beneficial relationship with the environment, where we shape it and it shapes us. Fast forward to modern times and we see a stark contrast in our relationship with the environment. Today, our intricate infrastructure and advanced technology have carved a divide between the human-made world and nature. We've built towering skyscrapers, expansive highways, and sprawling cities, which have become symbols of human progress. Yet this progress has led to a disconnection in how we perceive our impact on the environment. We've become so focused on our human-made world that we often overlook the fact that our actions, particularly in affluent nations, are leading to significant environmental degradation. From industries prioritizing profit over sustainability to suppression of natural processes, our modern lifestyle is wreaking havoc on the environment. This has given rise to a myriad of environmental issues like pollution, deforestation, and climate change. Sadly, this disconnect has led to widespread environmental issues that disproportionately affect marginalized communities. We must remember, our actions today will shape the world of tomorrow. So, how do we bridge this disconnect and foster a beneficial relationship with the environment? Well, the answer lies in understanding, respect, and adopting sustainable practices. We must first acknowledge that we are not separate from our environment, but are an integral part of it. Our actions, whether they are positive or negative, have a profound impact on the world around us. In order to move forward, we need to learn from the past. Indigenous tribes have shown us that it is possible to live in harmony with the environment, shaping it through practices like controlled burning. These practices not only respect the environment, but also contribute to its health and diversity. Imagine the potential for collaboration between these tribes and organizations like the Forest Service. By working together, we can reintroduce these beneficial practices on a wider scale, restoring and preserving our land in the process. 
By learning from the past and applying these lessons to the present, we can foster a symbiotic relationship with the environment that benefits us all.